First is creating sidewalks on your topography. So I will drape my form onto the topography and go in and select that face. Right click for the context menu and I have a plugin named joint push pull installed. I'll use vector push pull. Select that face and click the up arrow key on my keyboard to lock that on the blue axis. Then I'll type in 0.5 that comes in as a group. I can paint it a gray color. And now I have a 3D sidewalk. And since it's a group, it makes it easy to get rid of it. Say you change the design later. You can just select that face, uh, triple click to get the face and the boundary lines, and then hold down shift again and deselect that inner face and now just hit delete to get rid of the lines. Second part is looking at CAD. If you have tree symbols, you want to W block all of these. And you want to make sure it's converted to a block. So I hit OK. And I'll go ahead and replace it. And now that I have that blocked, I can copy that and make a design if I want to. Um, in AutoCAD and now if I import that in SketchUp since I s save them all as a W block that makes them import as a component so this takes us into the next tip which is creating replacing these now I'll just get a simple 2D tree. I prefer the this tree. It's pretty generic, but has a nice aesthetic to it. Works good for uh, planning situations where you're just trying to be generic. So I'll, quickly, I'll just explode that and then regroup it, and it's no longer facing the camera. So I can make a copy and turn that 90 degrees place it back there group it together and now I'll just copy that control C and delete it go into this component group here and hit paste and now you can see it's put my tree on my design that I made so the next step would be to take this design out of the 2D realm and put it onto your topography. So I can go into here and I'll just get rid of the tree symbols for now. But I can just explode this and actually I probably don't even need to do that. I can just from inside of that group I brought up the context menu again and I have another plugin installed named drop GC. So I'll click that and you can see it drops them down to my topography. Now they went a little bit too far through but that's a very easy fix. I'll just click them and using my up arrow key lock the axis. And that was a lot faster than dropping all those down manually. So now it makes it also makes doing you know this kind of work in SketchUp um, pretty easy itself so I wanted to build a larger forest I can now just drop GC all these again check them out adjust them a little bit you can build you know good sized forests pretty quickly with this method so the last thing I have to finish up is just to save yourself a lot of time and effort from going up here and turning on hidden geometry on and off because if you're a landscape architect or you're just doing site design um, and you want it to be good, you're going to have to deal a lot with hidden geometry. So save yourself some time. Set this shortcut under preferences, view, hidden geometry. I found the best key is the tilde key, which is next to the one and above the tab key. You don't use it for anything ever. So use it for hidden geometry and it makes a pretty easy shortcut for your uh, pinky finger.
So those are my five tips. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe.